welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman. And this is your monthly horoscope forecast for the sign of Taurus for the month of, of uh, May 2018. Uh, hello to all of you out there. For those of you that are newly tuning into my channel, welcome. And if you're tuning into this video and you're new to my channel as well, welcome. Please take the time right now to hit that red subscribe button um, and also the notification bell icon right next to it so that way you will not uh, miss a video that I publish and you'll be notified automatically. So let's go ahead and get into your horoscopes and see what's in store for the month of May for Taurus. So this month, uh, there seems to be a lot of oddballs, uh, circumstances where you may be experiencing some kind of loss in your life. This could be uh, a loved one that has passed away. Um, this could be uh, any kind of a relationship that is being broken. The first two weeks of the month are very interesting because you experience this overwhelming amount of loss in your life. And like I said, it it's not going to be in just one area. It could be in multiple areas or in just uh, two areas, you know, or one area. But there is a, a, a feeling of loss, a feeling of uh, sorrow. There is a lot of sadness and gloominess, um, which, you you know, it's not starting off the month on the best note. And a lot of you will handle it differently. A lot of you have um, become a lot, lot stronger, a lot more confident when dealing with adversity. Uh, the key message here is with any kind of loss, you're not losing a piece of yourself, even though it may feel like that. Um, you need to look at the positives and know that anything that is being shut down or being removed from your life is actually creating space for new opportunities, new blessings, new people. It's like a rebirth in so to speak that is happening right now in all of your lives, Taurus. So this is going to be a good month for you to really reflect upon all the good blessings that are happening right now and not focus so much on on the bad things that are happening uh, and know that you are going to be getting some messages from your spirit guides or angels they could be very frustrated right now with you because you are very stubborn and you may not be paying attention to the signs or the symbols that are being sent to you so if you see keep seeing synchronicities like angel numbers appearing over and over consecutively or you look at license plates and you see certain words that are, are letters that are, are repeating itself or you look up at the time and you see like like I said, the angel numbers, or perhaps you you go to the store and you're seeing you know a certain um, certain person or a certain face up here. There's some kind of message that spirits trying to give you right now that there is something in your life that is recurring over and over in your thoughts, but perhaps you haven't you know given the time or made the opportunity or make make time or you haven't uh, decisively acted upon what you need to do and you know what you need to do, but you're just holding back on it. So be on the lookout for that this month. Um, you could also be finding that there's a lot of spiritual guides uh, that are coming in the form of animals, uh, specifically ravens or grackles, uh, birds, basically, you know, uh, they are messengers to the other side, to the spirit realm. So a lot of you could be noticing that a lot of these birds are going to be appearing, especially this month of May. Um, and they are going to be um, basically giving you a lot of, um, you know, messages that perhaps you do not pick up you know they're not going to communicate with you like i'm communicating with you verbally obviously but te uh, telepathy you know a lot of these spirit animals could be communicating things tele telepathically with you or um you once you see them then you have a bright idea something that um strikes your intuition or uh piques your interest and this is basically spirit that's how they work you know that's the way that they they do things um so you could be noticing that um a lot of y'all will also be focused very much on um, your mothers. Um, with Mother's Day, um, you know, approaching, a lot of you may not be very close with your mom or you've had issues with your mother. This is going to be a good month for you to kind of um, put anything that is, you know, um, that's been causing a rift between you and your mom uh, and really working through those issues because you have to realize that you are only given one parent in this lifetime so you need to really push everything aside and quit blaming them for their actions or whatever is is happening right now uh, in your life or has happened in the past you cannot keep judging your parents you know for their mistakes because obviously we're all 
human. We are imperfect. We all make mistakes. So you need to come together with your parent and really cherish the time that you have with them here in the physical world. Um, so this is going to be a strong message for a lot of you out there. That, um, and of course, for those of you that are uh, very close to your mother right now, this is just a good time, um, you know, where you could be finding that she's giving you comfort um, if you still have your mother here alive in the physical world. For those of you that have lost your mother and that you know she's on the in the spiritual realm you could be getting a lot of signs around mother's day that her you know that she's there with you you could be feeling uh comfort like a, a, com a motherly comfort that only a mother knows how to give their children um and so that you could be feeling a lot of that because spirit is always around us um and your loved ones are as well um you are also going to be noticing that you are going to be working on something together. Uh, perhaps this is at work as a team project or um, even in your family life. Maybe you're working together with other family members to accomplish something. So um, don't take it as a setback this month to work towards, you know, accomplishing what needs to be done. Work together and know through that you'll be um, less stressed and getting a lot of the things done faster and quicker than, than normal. Um, so just see it as a blessing in disguise. Um, so overall, that was the message for this month um, for you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe to my video and hit that notification bell icon on the bottom right hand side of this video. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you'd like to set up a private reading with me, you can go to my website. That's www raymondguzman.net forward slash shop and while you're there head on over to the testimonials tab on my website so you can see what all of my clients are saying about my readings so i want to thank you so much all these links will be listed in the description box below have an amazing month blessings and love and light to all of you